Okay, here's something a little interesting. Our all magnet motor that didn't work. Um, it's now been turned into a pulse motor. As you can see, I now have five Neos around each of our rotors. I did have ten, that was too many. So we had to remove every second one. Um, coil here and inside you can see there's uh, four laminate strips out of a microwave oven transformer and um, of course our windings around them this LED here is my little strobe light and that tells me as to where the uh, transistor is firing which we wanted about there so as the magnets can be allowed to pass and then the next set is not only attracted to the laminates but uh, these two here are being pushed apart due to them being like poles so all north out on the magnets and we have the coil set up so it is driving um, north this end and south down the back end so the magnets rotate to get to about there transistor switches on turns this into a uh, north as well and pushes those magnets out just far enough as that they can repel each other and bring the next set to our core where it once again fires um, the transistors being driven by a little pickup coil here and that is also powering our strobe so as the LED will flash when the transistor switches on the interesting thing about this pulse motor is um, because of its configuration it produces no inductive kickback spike um, so the transistor would switch off about there we're still having the two north fields um, influencing our core and when these two get close enough they also influence that core with their north field so the core at this end remains north all the time it's never allowed to uh, collapse which is why we're not getting our inductive kickback also which you don't often see um, this permanent magnet motor um, is not a generator we can spin our um, rotor and it will not generate any power um, the LED of course is getting its power from this little coil um, and the only ripple we see on our scope when we spin it is the small amount of current going through the base then through the emitter and through the coil other than that we'll have a look now at the scope and I'll give it a spin all we see is a slight wave from our driving coil or our base driver coil and nothing from the main coil itself so the motor does not work as a generator which is pretty cool so it's got no inductive kickback spike as we'll see in a minute and um, it also does not generate any power through the main coil so we'll give it a little flick and get it running like I said that little that little LED strobe there shows us exactly where our transistor is switching on and the coil is firing up hard to see in the light but I'm sure you can see exactly where it is firing which is just back here I'm going to block out the light as much as I can but I'll switch off the main light over the workbench so I 
the CR a little strobe a little better now. focus in the dark. You'll see the main light down the bottom on the rotor, but you'll see the two little bright lights at the back. Um, that is where the LED is hitting the magnets in relation to our stator core, or our coil core, so um, the timing right there is pretty spot on to where we want it. Let's try for the pain. So that allows me to swing this coil either either and get it so it fires just as the magnets are reaching the very end of the core. And if we have a look at our scope again, um, so the yellow channel is across the coil itself. Our blue channel is across our 1 ohm CVR. Uh, the purple channel in there you can't quite see it, that's our math trace. But you'll see um, on our yellow trace there is no inductive kickback spike uh, because it, it would normally be down here because I don't have it inverted. Um, it would normally kick down this way our high voltage kickback spike, but as you can see it is being arrested by the second set of magnets approaching the core, um, keeping that core north at that end. So it's a motor but not a generator, it's a permanent magnet motor but not a generator, and it also has no inductive kickback spike, and um, I don't know if you took any notice of that. That is oh, our power consumption to run that LED and those two rotors. So it didn't work as an all magnet motor but um, it works very well as a pulse motor set up that way. So it's basically the same as we had before. I've just added the coil with the core um, and our little driver coil here for the base of the transistor to switch it on. And um, that's basically it. Fun little project. All right, so uh, once again, thanks for watching. And thanks to all you guys out there for your positive comments. Um, hope this has been a little entertaining for you. Not quite seen a pulse motor set up in this configuration, nor a permanent magnet motor that does not work as a generator. Okay, we'll see you next video.